Hello, it's the One Pound Gamer again today, and I always say that every video. So, you know, if you watch me quite a lot, you know I say that anyway. So today is a uh, well, quite a hectic kind of uh, show. So um, I've got everything all around me. So if I take a bit of time to uh, show you what I've got, and uh, yeah, finally got to a boot sale since. Uh, well, the last one was 2019 in December, I believe. Um, could be wrong, but it was definitely 2019, the last one. And uh, the boot sale was on Saturday, which was yesterday. So, went quite well and um, got some really good deals. And um, obviously, everything was one pound or less. Or um, I did actually get one that wasn't one pound, but everything added up to... Uh, Left one pound each, so I kind of sorted that out. So, if I start with the boot sale I went to, then I'll get to the charity shop finds, and um, or I could start with the actually two Epicade cartridges that came. And um, if you know about the Epicade, it's a handheld from Blaze, so. It uses these kind of cartridges, um, obviously it's still sealed. So these are number 15 and number 16. I'm still waiting for number 18, uh, 17, 18, 19 and 20, which I've pre-ordered. So the console is basically cartridges with 8 to 20 retro games on them and um, you can hook up to the TV or play it handheld and play the old games. Just like that, these are £14.99 each. So, these ones are the Pico Collection 2 and Gileco Collection 1. Obviously, there's a Pico Collection 2, which I've already got. And this is the first Gileco one. So, this has 10 games. And this one has 13 games. So, they vary between 8 and 20-ish, 20 20-plus. 20 um, there is a cartridge with 2 games on. So those ones are more up-to-date games, whereas these ones are retro, vintage, if you like, kind of games. So they came last week, and um, yeah, I'm still having to uh, unwrap those. So if we get on to the boot sale. So the first store we got to, um, it had a PlayStation 2 Slim and a Nintendo Wii. So the PlayStation 2 Slim was £35 and it had some controllers, some cables, no games or anything like that and I thought, well, you know, that's a bit too expensive, obviously my price is £10 and it had a uh, GameCube controller there with it included. So I picked this up and I said, this isn't for the PlayStation 2. Uh, it's for a Nintendo console, hoping that I will just set it for like, on its own. Um, so yeah, she took it off and asked the daughter and told the daughter that it was not for that console, for a different console and uh, they were going to take it away. So I said, well how much do you want for it? And they didn't know because they didn't know what console it was for. But the daughter finally said, pound, and I was like, yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm going to get level pound. So it was in good condition, and um, it's not too dirty. It needs a bit of a clean, but everything sounds really good. I personally don't like these controllers because of the uh, solder buttons, but a lot of people do, and these definitely go for more than a pound. And um, yeah, I could have told it was it works on the Wii, but hey ho, um, yeah. It, GameCube controller for a pound, so taking that apart and cleaning it. And um, that was uh, my first good find. And um, these aren't necessarily going to be in order, so. And later, probably didn't hear that, later on through the boot sale, um, came across these. And this, this one was actually in. Here like that, so I didn't know it was there. Um, so these were a pound each, 
and this was three pound so i already got this and i'm not sure if i had this because i did have my phone with me so i said okay straight away do it for three quid not knowing this was in there and he said yeah so i basically got these two for free um i thought okay i've already got this if i keep this in the deal i'll get a better deal so sometimes you have to buy things that you don't really need just to get a deal so what this is if you can see is there use your tablet for the wii so the remote goes in there connect it that won't even show up connect it through this and you use the tablet on the back now i've got the use your tablet for the 360 and i'm not sure if i've got it for the ps3 or not but this is the more child friendly version so it's got quite a thick pencil and you hold this down so you can well on it and it'll show up on the game and then you can put that doing this through the free find it's not very easy put that in there and then falls off so this was technically a quid or three or this was 50p and that was 50p so that was one of my favorite well my best deals i got in really good condition no scratches no corrosion so three pound and smackdown versus war 2008 they look in good condition um sort of although well, no, that's just the plastic so that's all right that just because that's okay um don't think i've already got that the uh feature in the cw but i've definitely already got this so not too bothered about that but i don't know what this is um it's definitely a film but i don't know what one it is and i don't think i can actually play this on my psp so i don't think it works properly i've got two but i don't think either of them work properly so either way i've got a good deal for those and then there was a another store so they had disney infinity figures in a box with this and they're all still with their boxes um used but still with the boxes and i asked him how much you want because there were one two three four six figures and a game so he said a pound each i said we do a fiver he said yeah how many are there six do a fiver including the game so i got okay so the figures were uh i have no idea what she, who she is but it's definitely from toy story is it oh no i'm not gonna try so toy story one obviously open and this is wreck it ralph from wreck it ralph the film and uh game so what i'm thinking of doing is hopefully they're not badly damaged so what i'm going to do is glue them back on and hopefully they might look near enough good as new so oops. and anna from frozen again as you can see these are open but not fully open um these definitely go for more than a pound each well actually technically less than a pound each so um definitely good deal for that and then mickey mouse I haven't actually checked to see how much these go for. Maybe I should. So, Mickey Mouse from Fantasia. Or Sorcerer's Apprentice, Mickey Mouse. Um, and Mike, or Mikey, as I thought, thought it was called. But that's from Monsters Inc. And Monsters Inc. 2, a new scare, I believe. So, and the last one, if I can get this. So, obviously this is more off the cardboard, but this is Mater 
from Cars and Cars 2. So they obviously got these in the clearance for five pounds. Don't know where from. It looks like a game sticker. But yeah, I got that. I got those. And then and then we went round. You can probably see those. Um this is a game I said, you know, it weren't exactly a quid. It was two pounds and I weren't sure if I had it, but I didn't have my phone. But I got it and I didn't have it. I think I've got it on download. So for two pounds, but I think I actually sorted out with the other games. Um the disc is in really good condition. These aren't really gonna be scratched up or moved around too much as they won't be spinning. As soon as you install those, they won't need to spin when you're playing the game, so they're not going to be messed up at all, hopefully. So you've got stickers, uh, four game downloads. Whether they've been used or not, I don't know. But that was two quid. Um, a load of PlayStation 2 games. So some of these I've already got, but these are in better condition. Um, I believe these were 50p each, I'm not too sure, might be completely wrong on that, might be a pound. Either way, good condition, as you can see. Um, no scratches, got a sticker on there but I can get that off. Um, no dog ears, good condition case. Um, Shadow the Hedgehog, we can actually see these before I say this. Uh, let's get those over there. and. No, you can still see those. Screw it. A shadow, a shadow Hedgehog. Uh, another sticker. And the books are in good condition. Um, good condition disc. I actually think there are two in here. Mm. There you go. I've got two, two manuals in there. Put that on there. And then this is... Also available, okay. So I think this is the one I will be keeping because I've actually got this in my other one. So let's put that back under there. Um, yep, I'll be keeping that one. And Ben 10 Alien Force. Um, unfortunately, I don't think there's yeah, there was a game here. Uh, one and please hasn't got the game or the right game, I'm not too sure. Might be that one. So, no manual, but the disc looks okay, and the case is in good condition. So this one, um, I obviously didn't check these before I bought them, but this hasn't got Dynasty Warriors 5. It has only Musha 2, but I think I've already got so this is in really good condition it's not in bad condition um i could probably switch that out for the other one so that is a shame but it's still a game for a pound or 50p so um royal rings i think i've already got this so i must have got it for the case or it might be in better condition so the manual is in really good condition and the Disc is in okay condition, but I think the one I've already got is in better condition, uh, disc wise. And I don't think the one I've got has got the official product of Lord of the Rings movie trilogy, so that'd be interesting to find out, see if I've got that already. Um, and this is without warning, I definitely didn't have this one. Um, no manual, I don't think, no, this is just. The advertising for other games, so Resident Evil 4 or 3. Um, the disc is not in bad condition, it needs a clean, but no deep scratches by the way. And this is Operation One Back 2 Project Poseidon. So I'm not sure that is pen, and um, because it's also on there as well. So no manual, but 
the disc is in okay condition. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, MotoGP, G, no, MotoGP3, the official game of MotoGP. How many times have I to say MotoGP or GP? So, in good condition. Uh, a bit of dog ear up the top, but everything is in there. And the multi tap for the PlayStation 2. Um, the disc is in okay condition. So, the best thing about these two, these PlayStation 2 cases, sometimes people leave memory cards right there. So, which is always a bonus, especially if you only think you're getting the uh, game. And for the Wii, GoldenEye 007. Not sure if I already got this, but definitely in better condition than that than the one I've probably already got. So, again, the manual was in really good condition. Um, quite a thick manual. So, and then the game is in good condition. So, this is basically really has a golden eye, but with Daniel Craig instead of Piers Brosnan. Um, not a complete reboot, but it's in the same vein of GoldenEye 64 on the Nintendo, Nintendo 64. So, I haven't played it yet, but I will be. Um, and then the week before, last week, we went to South Wales um, because we are actually looking at houses. So, went to a Tesco there, quite a big one. And I... Uh, I think this is all we got in Tesco. So we got, no, Asda, not Tesco, Asda. And so all we got, well, all I got was those puzzles in kind of retro style VSS boxes. And um, all I got these for were to put my NES, SNES and N64 and cartridge games in. Um, these were only £2.50 each, I think, yep. So I just got these to put those in to keep them safe until I get them sorted. So that was £7.50, hopefully well spent. I uh, don't know what I'm going to do with the puzzles, but they will be worth using. And then Nope, so uh done on. Um for that seventy six for five pounds. So they had Doom Eternal for five pounds and this for five pounds. Unfortunately they didn't have Doom Eternal, so I just got this instead. Um I've got all the other Doom games on the Xbox One. And I'm not gonna be playing this because well you know the reasons why I'm not gonna be playing it. But it's still sealed for five quid and um, gonna keep it sealed. So uh, let's pause it and while I get all the other stuff. Okay, so I've got everything sorted. Now on to the South Wales charity shops. So if I do the first one or not in any particular order, it's just do them. I got a Sure shoot shroom boom probably how you say it for a skyland strap team as you can see it's not sealed but that can be sorted i believe i've got that for i think 50p or a pound 50p or a pound i don't know either way found that and good old mario plus yeah i think i've got the luigi one this was, I think, a pound. Was it? I don't know. Um, yeah, that's gone. Yeah, I think that was a pound or a pound fifty. So that was a good find. And let's do the DS games from South Wales. So these ones I've mainly got for the cases and solitaire DS. Um, I think that's in better condition, but I might be swapping these things out. 
Um, everyone's got brain training from Dr. Kawasaki or Koshima. Kawasaki has a bike, so everything's in there, all in good condition. And more brain training. Again, everything's all in good condition. So no dog ears and the cartridge is in good condition. And CSI, this one I didn't have. But unfortunately, this one doesn't have a manual. So the one I don't have or didn't have isn't complete. But the cartridge is in good condition, luckily. So that will be added to my collection. Um, these definitely get better. Um, iPad for PlayStation 4 for the PlayStation 3. Again, pound as you can see there. And all in good condition. So everything is there. And let's turn that around. The disc is here. Uh, Needs a bit of a clean, but I can sort it out. All the uh, puzzles were actually from Tesco, as my wife has just shouted down to me. Not Asda, they were from Tesco. So, thank you for that. Hmm. A Xbox One game, this is just FIFA 15. I do not play football games. So, and... All in good condition, and let's try and get it out without breaking it. And then some really games for probably a reason to get things for a pound. Um, Guild Wars for the PC, so really thick manuals, two of them. And disc one and disc two. So these never work now, but hey ho. And then for the Xbox 360, yep. Yeah. So that's darts, PDC darts. I'm not sure what year that is, but all in good condition. Um, got quite a few 360 games now, so. Um, I'm slowly running out of space on those. And FIFA 15. I think I definitely got FIFA 15 to get the other ones for a pound each or less. So no manual norm. And then Ben 10 U Omniverse 2. I think I've got the first one. But it's actually, when I got home, it's actually got the Wii version of Omniverse inside so two for one there and um, I think I've got the Wii version as well already so that was a nice surprise and then so if you're old enough like me um, this was £1.75 but I think if you spend a certain amount of money you got everything for I think a fiver or one for free, so this was actually about a pound. Um, these are gold ones. Um, I've got some more in the game room, but I can't remember where they are. So these ones will go with the gold ones I've got upstairs. Um, limited edition gold monster collection. So, yeah, there are quite a few. See if you can see that. And then, surprisingly, in the there's a really big charity shop, a uh, council retreats, I believe, and we found some really, 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 really good deals in there. So FIFA 10 for 50p. Got that just for the case. Um, but if I've, if I've got not got it, then I'll be putting that in my collection. And Sing Star for the PlayStation 2 pound. Um, might already have this, but this condition is much better than what I've already got. So, basically, what I'm doing is 
replacing what I've already got with the same thing. Um, rugby 06. So, again, in good condition. And again, I do not play rugby games. But, I am a collector, so. Um, FIFA Football 2005, the year me and my wife met, in the Tesco car park. So, again, all in good condition. Normally, when you find old football games, they're in really bad condition, but these ones seem to be in good condition, luckily. And let's move that. And Cricket 2005. Well, that just ain't Cricket, is it? Yeah, that was a bad pun. So, again, slight dog earring. Okay, quite a bit of dog earring on that one. But I'm pretty sure if I bend that back, that should be okay. And the disc is in good condition. So, the last two things from that charity shop, we actually got some other things. We got two toothbrushes for £15, which won't be in this video. We actually found a sealed, authentic Windows 10 home and sealed authentic which I've already used office home and student 2019 these were just 10 pound each so 10 pound for windows 10 home and office home and student 2019 for just 20 quid so yeah um I was a bit bummed seeing that for 10 quid and uh, realising I've paid £180 for my Windows 10 Pro. So, but, yeah, they had two Windows 10 in there. And, um, should have got both of them, but I only got one of them. That was just my Xbox One, probably warning me that it's going to turn up in a minute. Um, yeah. And then on to the... Yesterday's... Charity, uh, charity shop finds, mostly BS, and these are Imagine Movie Style, so good condition, pins are in good condition, this is a very long video, and cases in really good condition, I've got quite a few Imagine ones and I'm not sure if I've got any of these ones, but I've got them anyway. And um, my cooking coach. So, I think I've got the loose version of this one. And um, I've got that, and I've got that. I've definitely got that now. And I think I've got the Spanish one. I'll be the French one. No, one of those. So, I've got that one. And nutrition matters. And again, in good condition. Unfortunately, it's got a sticker there, but I think that's coming off anyway. And good condition pins. So I'll try and get through these as quick as possible to try and get under half an hour. And imagine girl band. Um, again, good condition. I think I've nearly got all the imagine games now. So that's really bolstering the DS collection. Imagine journalist and again really good condition. <clears throat> Although I can look in the back of these to see what ones I need or want that need them. So I'm guessing all of these came from one person and imagine babies. Um <clears throat> yeah they had a whole box of Imagine Games um, and a couple of other DS games I've already got. A little do dog eared but good condition pins. So, and put it in it. And the Professor's Brain Drain Memory. Yeah, I think I've already got this, but this is in better condition. So, 
really good condition manual and pins are in really good condition so I'll be putting these on my collection app, collection app. and the Madden Dream Reddings <coughs> my voice is going now this one doesn't have the manual but all that matters is the games whether they work or not so good condition pins and imagine teacher um there was a lot of imagine games <coughs> imagine that eh? and uh, another bad pump um all in good condition and the pins are in good condition <coughs> and then another ps4 game for a pound not from the same Charity shop, but cancel research. PS uh, or PES 2016 for release soccer. So I think I've got five PS4 games, but no PS4. So <coughs> something's going wrong there. Um, good excuse to get a PS4, but not until they're a tenner or fifteen pound or brand new and cheap. So good condition. Don't really get manuals anymore and yeah that's it so oh and one which was 299 i think that was from last video though this one yeah well if this was in the last video or not this one i got for 299 and then later on in that day i sorted it out with a load of games for for a pound and uh Counteracted to £2.99, so I basically got it for a quid. Yeah, so that was a very long video, 32 minutes, just gone. Um, yeah, the boot sale was a nice change and uh, since 2019 and actually quite profitable. So hopefully, your boot sales in your area have started up again and you get some good deals. Hopefully you get some good deals in charity shops just like I did, especially with the Windows 10. And um, thank you for coming and uh, hopefully you all have a good day. And uh, stay safe and keep well. And one pound gamer. <laughs>